I'm kidding. It's not a real phone. It's literally plastic. <laughs> Okay, a very good morning everybody. Welcome to my very first vlog. Is it my first vlog? Is it considered my first vlog? I don't know. I'm sorry I'm eating and talking at the same time, but I'm actually rushing because the sun isn't even out yet. And the reason why I'm up so early is because I'm trying to catch the sunrise at this secret beach in Sembawang. And you know that the place is very secret and hidden, right? When you actually have to walk off rail to get there. And it's very hard to get there by like public transport or like car. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna run there. It's kind of like very deep in. If you've ever been to Sembawang Park, it's actually just next to it, but a lot of people don't know how to get there. So maybe you'll learn from this video. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'm gonna finish my breakfast and then I'm gonna go for a run to the beach. Let's go. This is literally the path. If you run, basically you come from there and then there is where the beach is. Shut up! There's not a lot of people around here but I think it's because it's a weekday. It's like Tuesday, the day after national day. But I'm gonna keep going to the beach. So basically we were from over there. You can't even see it anymore. That's the end of the track and this, so this is like the off trail towards the secret beach. And like, I don't know whether you can see it, but this is one of the main reasons why I come here for the sunrise. I, I hope you can see it. Okay, this is not the main, like, the best part of the beach. I'm gonna bring you guys further down over there. I don't know if you can see. Well, oh, just look at, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out for him. Okay, I do agree that this place is a little bit, um, trashy like like there is trash like everywhere even there's an uncle right here i don't know whether he lives here or what but he's cleaning up the trash and i guess over the weekend because it was national day yesterday i think there were some people having campfires so it's really really dirty you can see like there's like trash everywhere my phone is right there i'm taking a time lapse <laughs> i think it's a satellite tower i'm not sure but this is next to passion wave at sambang i think it's a yacht club not really sure. I'm gonna bring you guys further down. You can see there's actually even more trash. Look at all this trash. Dude, come on. If you bring trash on the beach, clear it up. The fuck? Okay, I, I don't know whether I'm actually showing like a great like uh, perspective of this place. Like where everything is. There is where we were. Okay. Over there. That's where we came from. And then if you walk further down here. This little area here. You can see um, there's another trail which actually looks even more creepy so let's go okay so this is dude i heard something yes, this is very creepy i have no idea should i even say it now so this is where people can actually enter the secret beach as well um over there I don't know whether you can picture how wide this place is. It's just a land full of sand. Um, I don't think it's an ideal place to go have a beach picnic or something. But there are like weird like tables and chairs. I'm pretty sure like old people come here like those um, fish monks. A lot of people come here to fish. That's why I noticed. Um, but this place is actually a little bit creepy. And I was saying just now right when I was in like the forest. Basically something touched my butt. Dude, I heard something. I think something just fell on it. Uh. But yeah, they say this place is actually spiritually dirty because apparently um, things happened here before. I think you Google it up, it's called um, Kampong something. They say that this place used to be an old uh, Malay village. Oh, fucking shit, mate. That thing is squishy as fuck. Okay, so basically those are the new houses. And I think we can actually go up from there. But it looks really, really steep, and I don't know whether I want to try that. Okay, that this this kind of looks creepy, bro. Like it's just so the sun is coming out. It's really bright. This is not this is not really the kind of place you come to 
have a picnic. I think the one further down that we came from, that is where a lot of, that's where there's a lot of trash there. I think a lot of people go there for picnics. But other than that, this place itself, it's, there's a lot of sand flies, bruh. It's not good. It's really not good. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I just had lunch and now I'm trying to rush again to my online class. So if you guys didn't know, I'm actually a year 2 marketing student at Singapore University of Social Sciences. That is a very long name to say. I'm not going to talk much about it, but if you want to know more about SUSS, you can actually check out a video that I did with my company, um, Unfiltered, by clicking the box over here. I talk about what I do in classes, how is SUSS like and all that. So if you want to check that out, that would be great. But right now, I have to go to class for another three hours. So we are at ABV and I'm with Zachary. This is our first dine out by the way. It's the it's 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 the first yeah it's the first dine out and I didn't know that you need to be vaccinated. Lucky your boys here are vaccinated and everybody else here stay safe guys. and get vaccinated. But cheese. Cheers. Happy belated birthday. This guy's drunk. Piss. Okay, so right now we're in the middle of like Chinatown-ish area. Uh, we're at Muhammad Ali. No, yeah, correct. Muhammad Ali Lane. And we're just trying to walk down. We just did a photo shoot. Um, not much, but I think that like sums up the end of the night. We didn't drink that much, I think. We did, did, we, did we? like a bottle of wine, I think. But what are you doing? Just gonna... Hey. Oh, Woo. shit. Dude, we almost, crazy. we almost died. Um, so basically, I'm just gonna head home and sleep. That's it. That's, that's the end of the night. Good night. Okay, so I'm actually on the way home right now. It's very, very late. Um, this entire place that I'm walking in right now feels like a very Korean vibe. So I feel very Korean right now. Don't shoot me, okay? <laughs> I would say a little bit tipsy because I had a bit of drinks tonight. It's quite late. It's about 11.30 right now. I'm just gonna head home and... I think I might do some work before I sleep, but I'm not gonna vlog that. But yeah, so that is basically the end of my day. I woke up very early to go to the beach, had some online school, went to hang out with my friend since it's the first, you know, dine out and everything. But yeah, that's basically... I, I wouldn't call this like a day in my life because a day in my life is very, very different. Tomorrow, I might just stay at home and do nothing. But if you enjoy this kind of videos, leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to my channel. And this is my first vlog, but I'm definitely going to be doing more. I'm going to be exploring more of Singapore, exploring more of my life or whatever. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Woo!